everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the fourth episode of Python Plays Minecraft. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day and once again a massive thank you for all of the support you guys have been showing the series. I really truly do appreciate it my friends. If we could keep it up with two, maybe three thousand likes an episode, that would be absolutely fan freaking tastic guys. Now, we have ourselves a few goals for today's episode, uh, one of which is going to be to get ourselves an enchanting table and options maybe do even more exploring perhaps try to find a village which might have some bookshelves in it and then we can siphon those off and bada bing bada boom we could have ourselves a level 30 standard enchant setup right that'd be pretty awesome uh, but uh, in addition to that we could probably also try to go to the nether see what kind of spawn we have uh, so yeah we've got plenty of things that we can be doing and that's honestly one of the reasons I genuinely love early game Minecraft there's so much stuff you can do you need to get Get yourself all geared up and go from there and do epic stuff, epic building, epic building time, freaking, I don't know, bosses and stuff. Oh, there's so much stuff to do at the beginning of Minecraft. And I love it, dude. I love it. If you were to ever ask me what is my favorite aspect of Minecraft, it's the start of the game. It is. It is. You will uh, always wind up doing something different. I mean, oh, I just... <laughs> what? Okay. We've got mountain sheep up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mountain sheep. I do hope that nothing happens to you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that guy's never, ever going to move. His pathfinding restricts him to just that block. He's not going to be able to find his way down uh, without figuring that he's going to wind up killing himself. So, yeah. Well, there we go, my friends. PewDiePie's got water sheep. I've got mountain sheep. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, you love to see it. All right, guys. So here we go. We might as well go ahead and do just a little bit here. So we got ourselves the flint and steel. We've got our diamond pickaxe on us right now. And we've still got ourselves a pretty decent amount of food. So all we really need to do is head back down into the caves. Go find ourselves one of those beautiful obsidian pit things. They are pretty common, let's be honest. If you go down to diamond level, then they are just going to be super freaking common, huh? All right. So what's going on around here, huh? I mean, I heard a whole bunch of mobs, but uh, I'm not hearing a whole bunch of anything else. I mean, I was kind of hoping there'd be a dungeon, but uh, no. All right. Well, guys, let's get back down to diamond level, and we are going to get ourselves some obsidian. Oh, guys, we've got a record opportunity here. If we... Uh, if we manage to get that skeleton to shoot the creeper while it's weak, we might be in with a chance. Oh, for goodness sake. The skeleton is completely incapable of, like, coming over here. All right, I'm going to have to try something here. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to try and get the creeper to come back, right, and then go from there. All right, come on, buddy. All right, so this guy's pretty weak. I'm not entirely sure how many more shots he had. Dang it! All right, well, uh, yep, yeah, no record from that guy. Ah, here we go, my friends. I mean, it's a pretty small lava pool to convert into obsidian, but you know what? It's definitely going to be better than nothing, isn't it? So let's go ahead and mine this first bit of obsidian here, and then all we're going to do in order to increase our safety here is we are going to start putting down some water, and then upon the obsidian being mined, the, the water is going to cover up any further lava that may be discovered uh, as a result of mining up the obsidian. But uh, yeah, guys. We're looking pretty good. So, the magic number we are looking for is 14. You can have a minimum of 10 blocks for a nether portal if you don't put the corners in. And then, of course, there are four bits of obsidian in the recipe for an enchant table. So, yeah, like I say, 14 is the magic number. Alrighty, folks. So I think it goes without saying, one of our slightly more immediate goals for probably next episode, I'd say, is to get ourselves some sort of zombie XP spawner going. Because, let's be honest, we're at 21 levels, we need ourselves a minimum of 30 levels to start getting ourselves some really, really good enchants on our various wares that we have going on. So, yeah, it would be a good idea, wouldn't it, just to go ahead and uh, get myself one of those beautiful... XP spawners set up. Yes. Okay, well, whatever the case, my friends, check it out. We have the ability to make ourselves 
And enchant table! Woohoo! There we go. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, that is definitely one of the steps complete. In fact, when it comes down to it, you could probably do some various other things here. I could probably make myself two bookshelves to start off. And what I want to do with the rest of the leather there... Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. There's something I want to do. There's something I want to do. It's something I always intend on doing on all of my other series, but I never actually get round to it. Mostly because I'm a big dumbo and I just keep forgetting. It's to go ahead and put the buried treasure maps inside of item frames. You see? Buried treasure map, huh? Look at that. X marks the spot. I'd love to make myself like some sort of pirate cove where we just have like all of these things on display uh, with maybe chests where we can see what we get in each one. I don't know, that could be a cool idea. Although then again, we've already gone ahead and sort of collated all of the things that we got from the current treasure maps, right? So, yeah. Oh well, doesn't matter my friends. So, we do have ourselves 10 obsidian. The question is, where do we want to put the portal? Usually, I mean, to be honest, for now, hmm, I wonder. I wonder actually, because this middle island is actually an island, right? Hmm, I don't know. Although, to be honest, that whole island thing actually brings me on to the comments question of the video. So I'll tell you what, let's do that first, and then we'll uh, go into a location for the uh, portal, I guess. So, uh, yeah, for today, Firework Guy says, I would really love if you would do something related to winter and make a good Christmas vibe. Yeah, that's a really, really cool idea. And like I say, we've got like a bit of an island here. And what I was thinking we could do is we could potentially terraform it a little bit later in the month and then make ourselves a large scale Christmas tree, huh? That'd be a cool idea, wouldn't it, huh? I think that'd be really cool. I mean, I don't think we're going to need this terrain to be that high. I'm thinking maybe we shrink it down to maybe a third of the current height. And then we do some custom terraforming on this island here. And we can have ourselves a really, really nice looking area. You know, that could be really awesome. But anyways, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to place down another portal. We're just going to put it here for now. But eventually, I would like to make like a dedicated nether portal hut or crypt or something like that. I don't know, man. We'll figure it out as we go along. But there we go. There's the portal. First ever nether portal of the series of the world of this era. Ooh, in we go. Okay, question. Good nether spawn, question mark. Oh, there's a there's an enderman down there. That really does not seem like a good thing to get on the wrong side of. Uh, okay. Wow, this is really high up. What, why 89? Wow. Okay. Uh, question. Do we have... Oh, I thought I was about to fall off there for a minute. I, <laughs> my heart just jumped into my mouth, dude. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well... Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This nether spawn sucks. There is absolutely nothing special about this nether whatsoever so far. And in fact, this is probably one of the worst nether spawns I think I've ever had. It's legitimately going to be a freaking task to even get down from here, man. Jeez. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this nether. Okay. Well, whatever the case, we'll go back through. And we'll have to go ahead and figure something out another day. Because for now, my friends, I think that I would like to try and find a village. A village is probably going to be the way to go if we want to find ourselves a bookshelf, right? Like, we find, like, a librarian hut. We go from there. That would be really, really awesome, would it not? So, yeah, that's what we're going to try and do. But for now, my friends, we do have ourselves two bookshelves, which is a fantastic start. We need 13 more in order to allow ourselves level 30 standard enchant. So... Yeah, plenty of stuff to be done, my friends. But for now, I'm going to put the diamond pick away in there. Uh, she is. Flint and Steel can go away as well. And then we'll maybe, like, keep some generic building blocks on us. Just because that's what I like to do. Uh-huh. Cool. Right. Sticks. Get some coal. Little bit of torch action. And then, guys, I think we're ready. And, yeah, as you can see, I've done maybe a little bit since the last episode as well. I put down the bed. I dyed it blue as well. And then we got these little flower pots because I'm the flower pot freaking king of awesomeness. <laughs> okay, so we have currently explored... What? Wah, huh, what? What are those guys doing there? What the heck? All right, well, uh, oh, no. You know what that means, don't you? We're going to have to try and find ourselves a cow. We need to find a cow. The reason why is because if we had... If we have bad omen, 
Wait, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Oh my goodness me. All right. Go on, hurt each other. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Go on, kill each other. Do it. Oh my goodness. Disgusting behavior coming from these guys. They just don't care, do they? They just don't care. Dead. You're all dead. Huh. That was easy. All right, well, uh, that's that done and dusted. The only thing is we now have bad omen, which means if we were to go ahead and go into a village right now, uh, we would cause a raid to happen. And to be quite frank with you, I'm not so sure that I would be able to survive. Hmm. I don't know. It could be an interesting challenge, though. It could be an interesting challenge, right? The only thing is we don't really have many arrows. We've got 13. We're going to we're gonna have to be very, very sparse with them, right? Ooh. I just don't know. I'm not so sure. Like, honestly, like most events in Minecraft, I'm pretty confident with them, right? But this one, early game, that could be a challenge. That could be a genuine challenge. Ah oh, man, like every single thing in my stomach right now is saying, you know what, you really shouldn't do this, go get yourself some milk, get rid of the effect, and then you'll be fine, tickety-boo and peachy. Uh, but the masochistic side of me is like, oh, he what? Yo, there's a, f there's a freaking dude over there, I want to go see what he's got. Oh man, okay, wait, 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 wait. We, need to, we need to go grab some emeralds real quick. I want to see what he's got. If he's got awesome stuff, then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm game. I'll go ahead and buy some stuff, you know? Like, if we don't have to go to a certain biome to get wood, that'll be cool, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to grab all of this out at this point. And we're going to go for it. We're going to see what that guy has. Hey there, broski. All right, what do you got for... Oh, yes, this is exactly what I was on about. So what this now means is I don't have to visit a jungle to get jungle saplings. So what I'm going to do is buy... I'm kind of tempted to buy four. Then I can make like a 2 by 2 jungle tree and then start farming it like that. But it's basically meant that I don't need to go to the jungle much. I mean, I don't know. You can find bamboo inside of shipwreck chests as far as I can remember. And then cocoa beans, I don't know. I don't know if you can buy them from this guy. But anyways, what else we got here? Nautilus shell. The earlier we collect these bad boys, the better things are going to be. And then we have some black dye as well. Okay. So for once, you're actually selling things that I actually wanted. So good day to you, sir. Good day to you. Right. So we went north in the last episode. Maybe this time we go south. Maybe there's something going up. Will, will you get out of my way, piggy? How unbelievably rude of you. All right, what have we got around here, huh? So, there, ah, there we go. There's a cow over there. Right, do you know what? We're doing it. We're, we're, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this effect, okay? I, I don't think I'm that confident at the moment in uh, in my abilities to survive against those bad boys. All right, boom. Hey, 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 give me milk. Thanks, broski. And another milk bucket. You'll love to see it. All right, so what have we got going on over here? So it looks like we've got ourselves a pretty nice mountain biome coming up. To be honest, I feel like this entire place is surrounded by mountain biomes. Which means, you know, we've kind of got like a bit of a continent going on. I don't know. I think that's pretty awesome. So anyway. Oh my god, I just saw foxes. <gasps> Yo! I saw foxes. They are beautiful. Oh, look at them. Oh my god. They are. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Ah, they're so adorable. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're, they're so adorable. Oh, the, the little peep sound. <laughs> oh, they make my heart melt. They do. They make me freaking heart melt, guys. I can't help it. I love it. I love cute things in Minecraft, dudes. Oh, the foxes are so cool. They're so amazing. Oh, jeez. Okay, so, yeah, pretty good-sized tiger biome. I mean, villagers can spawn in this biome, right? So it might be worth going up to a bit of a vantage point and having a look to see... If we can find one, right? So let's try and find ourselves a higher place and then we'll have a look. Well, guys, what better vantage point can you get than from a mountain? Oh my god, there's smoke particles over there. That means there's a village. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> you see, out of all of the villages, tiger villages are by far the easiest to spot from a distance, right? Because, you know, smoke particles from the campfires. Oh, wow, it's, it's like down here as well. Oh my gosh. This is like the coolest village I've ever seen. The reason why it's the coolest village I've ever seen is because it's like perfectly nestled like beneath this mountain biome. And it even goes way down to the water down there. 
Oh my god, this is this is actually kind of banging. I like this. All right, so we're gonna get down here. We're gonna sleep real quick because otherwise the villagers are gonna get impaled by zombies. And to be quite frank, I don't want that to happen. Okay, I don't want it to happen. So let's go to bed. There we go. Oh, they're so cool though. We found a village, guys, and it's like actually super freaking awesome. It's such a quaint little village. All right, so, yeah, looky de do. All right, more treasure chests for the Pythonator. We're going to start picking those bad boys up just so we can keep track of uh, how much stuff we've managed to get so far. Uh, wow, a spruce sign. You can get that as loot. That's interesting. Buddy, why? Why would you do that to yourself? All right, so there's a cartographer. Hmm, pretty awesome. All right, what have we got? Ah, there's the cartography table. Sorry, buddy, you're getting robbed. You're getting robbed blind there, sir. All right, what else have we got? Uh, looms. Okay, I mean, I'll take one of them. I don't want to be too much of a, a bum, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to have all of them be unemployed. Oh, my goodness. All right, so let's continue on. Let's see if we can uh, get up to the other sections here. There we go. Oh, man, I love villages. I think the tiger villages are definitely the best looking ones. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Look at that. They've even got little flower pots. Oh, it's so cute. It's like they took inspiration from me. <laughs> hey, oh gosh. Oh gosh. They got like natural defense mechanisms. Holy guacamole. That's kind of cool. Okay, that's some pretty good loot. Once again, I'm going to take only one of these because I only need one of them. Uh, but let's continue on. Uh, what have you got there? Potatoes, pumpkin seeds. Okay, that's kind of cool. We're getting plenty of loot from this place so far. Hello there, sir. Uh, no sign of a librarian hut, though. A hey, couple more emeralds. We've got ourselves a spruce sapling. I don't know. Like, large ferns as loot. I mean... Eh, okay. <laughs> You do you, Minecraft, and all that. You do you. Right. No sign of a library, sadly. Oh, wow. It goes down there as well? What? Wow. There's, like, loads of stuff here, man. Oh, my God. There's even a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, everything is, like, freaking awesome here. Like, literally. Wow. Okay. Guys, come on. There's got to be some more stuff going. Dude, that is sick. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know you could get these little things. Well, there's armor stands that generate here. That is so cool. And then we've got a blast furnace. I mean, of course I'm going to take that. What do you think I am? Dumb? Don't answer that. So, oh man, there's so much cool stuff here. Oh, there's so much cool stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to just look through everything. I want myself some books. What's this? Oh my goodness me. There's so much stuff here. It's actually unbelievable. Boom. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of loot in this village. Wow. Okay, cool. Right. Hello. Nothing. Okay, great. Let's go over here. Wait, what the heck? Lukewarm ocean. And there's like actual tropical fish in here? That... What? This goes like... There's like an underwater cave that... Dude, that is serious. I'm sorry. That is just so cool. <laughs> the quotation you guys are going to get from this episode over and over again is... Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. We've come across some pretty cool stuff today, man. We've got some real nice stuff going on. Give me that chest, and we'll get on our merry way. Right, there's another house just down here, though. Uh, okay, so there's nothing going on there. Uh, you're selling a sharpness 2 sword. Wait, how much are you selling that for? 16? Ah, dang blast it. I mean, I would have bought it if it was cheaper. But uh, nevertheless, guys, this has been a pretty fruitful endeavor. I mean, we haven't managed to get any bookshelves, sadly. But uh, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. That's a pretty cool village, though, man. It really, really is. All right. Well, anyways, uh, perhaps we can find ourselves another one. That'd be pretty cool, I guess. I'd really like to try and find myself some bookshelves, man. Come on. Come on. I want to get this goal done. Alright folks, so check it out. We actually have ourselves another village going on here. Another tiger village more to the point. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so what kind of size... Oh, hello. Another campfire. Awesome stuff. What kind of size is this village? I mean... I'm not seeing too much so far, but uh, that's not to say that there might not be something cool going on. Wow, we've got so much bread now, guys. I don't think we're going to have to worry about food for a long time. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, hello there, sir. You have no job. What the heck is up with that? Okay, boom. 
I want to get in. I want to get in. I want to see what else there is. Okay, nothing in that one. Uh, some sort of trough, I guess. Uh-huh. Oh, look at the little baby villager. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. All right, come on. Oh, wow. Like, most of these houses are, are like, impossible to access. Eh, okay. Coolio. Right, uh, it doesn't appear that there's anything else going on there. There's a tiny little thing right there. But to be honest with you, yeah, I'm not actually seeing a great deal of buildings here. Hmm, okay. So we've gone from probably one of the best looking villages I've ever seen to probably one of the smallest. There's like nothing here. Hmm, okay. However, my eagle eye said, ah, yeah, yeah, there was, there was. Ah, I'm glad I went back for that. All right, Jack O'Lantern, I'm sorry, buddy. I can make you real easy back at base, okay. Oh, there's some more. Cool. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we have a grand total that we can make of six bookshelves. We've got two already. We can make four more. Hmm. We need nine more. We may have to just do it the old-fashioned way and just, like, kill a ton of cows. Oh, gosh. This is going to be terrible. Uh-huh. Okay, well, is there anything else I could chuck away? I mean, we've got a pretty significant amount of stuff here. I don't think we're going to be needing any nuggets. More than anything, I just want to get myself the leather. Uh, apples. Eh. Might want to have those spruce logs. Oh, then we got so much stuff here. Oh my god, I can't decide. I can't decide what I want to chuck away. <laughs> Maybe the apples. I don't know. We could probably get some of those later on, I guess. I don't know. All right, guys. It's time for the mass cow exodus. And certainly not mass cow genocide or killing uh, montage. No, definitely not that. I'm definitely not going to do that. No, no, no cow death montage. Ah, you guys were actually expecting a cow killing montage, huh? Well, I'm a man of my word. Well, well, at least I try to be anyways. Anyways, we are going long into the night here in terms of our hunt for leather. I believe the magic number we're looking for is 27 because we already have, what, 18 leathers worth of bookshelves already, I guess. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. 27. Perfect. Cool. All right. So, yeah, that second village, by the way, that was to the west, a fair amount of, uh, you know, distance. So, yeah, it's taking a little bit of time to get back. But, you know, all the while we've been going ahead and, A, getting ourselves a bunch of food so we can smelt that when we get back. And, of course, B, get enough leather so we can make ourselves a ton of books when we get back. Uh, but also, if I had more inventory space, then I would 100% go ahead and try to pick up a bunch of this sugar cane as we go along, but uh, yeah, we we don't have much inventory space. In fact, at all. I kind of want to keep everything on me. <laughs> <sighs> all right, let's get back to base. Huh? Let's see what we can do with what we have currently. All right, guys. So with all the sugar cane, you know. All right, folks, so we got all the sugar cane collected, and I'm pretty sure the magic number we're looking for is 60. So if we take off three there and do that, we could make ourselves... Yeah, there we go. 21 books. There we go. Beautiful. All right, and that should be enough to get ourselves the whole shaboodle done, right? So there we go, and there we go. 15 bookshelves, and where's the enchant table? There it is. Right, now then, guys, we have ourselves a bet, don't we? It, I mean, there's nothing to bet for. It's just a bet. We want to see if Fortune 3 is going to be the first thing we get for a level 30 standard, uh, you know, set, uh, enchant for a diamond pickaxe. So, bada bing, bada boom. Let's do a little bit of this. There we go. Boom. And ladies and gentlemen, is Fortune 3 going to be our first enchant? Boom. No. Not guaranteed anyway. Not guaranteed. So if we manage to get ourselves up to level 30 and then we grab some lapis, then we could have a chance. Not only, I mean, we will get efficiency 4, but there is a chance of us getting Fortune 3 in addition to that. So, yeah. Okay, I mean, it's still all to play for, ladies and gents. It's still all to play for, you know. Don't go ahead and dismiss the idea just yet. <laughs> oh, dear. But there we go, my friends. The goals of the episode are now done and dusted. And I'm feeling pretty darn good about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are indeed going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Go ahead below the video. Drop a like rating. It's totally free to do. And it shows your support for the series. I very much appreciate it it guys hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and don't forget to ding that bell if you haven't already so you guys don't miss out on future content but for now my friends thank you very much for watching i do hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode <laughs>